Hey guys, it's James here. Today, I'm bringing you a demo and review of the Crater Dime Plus Amplifier that's been newly added to the SDLM Hub in an update. Now, unlike most other amps and videos out there, which are done from uh, a guitarist perspective, this video is going to be from an audio engineer's perspective, because I'm not really a guitarist, but I'm a full-time professional audio engineer. So, I don't really care about stuff like how the amp feels while you're playing a guitar through it, or how it sounds in solo. I don't care if it's an accurate emulation of the hardware amplifier is model after either. Instead, the primary concern for me is how the amp performs in the mix and how easy it is for me to engineer tones. I'll talk more about this later, but now let's hear the Crater Dime Plus in a full metal mix. What did you think of the guitar tones? Let me know in the comments, I would love to hear your thoughts. I want to say a quick thank you to SDL Tones for sending me the update beforehand so I had time to test it and make this video. I also want to thank Johnny Fitzgerald and Jeremiah Funk for allowing me to feature their incredible music. This tune is so awesome and so fun to mix with. My first impression of the Crater Dime Plus amp was, wow, this is some good stuff right here. The distortion quality is amazing. As far as I, I could tell, it's completely void of any digital fizz and the plasticky sounding quality, which is still commonly found in some amp sims nowadays to a certain extent. Here, just take a listen to the rhythm tone I used for the demo without any post-processing. I think it just sounds freaking fantastic. I love that it's greedy and thick. Now let's talk about the cap section of M-Hub. Unless I'm mistaken, I don't think there's a matched cabinet for uh, the Crater Dime Plus amplifier, which is totally fine because we've got ourselves here a really user-friendly and powerful ca uh, cap module with two IR loaders. You can of course load your own IRs, but it comes with 15 different speakers and each speaker has between 4 and 8 microphones and options, which is a lot. You also have to remember that more gear is continuously being added to uh, on a monthly basis as well. You can tweak the microphone placement on three axes 
and angle the microphone uh, with the built-in IR as well, which is what I always prefer over not being able to do that, assuming that the interpolation algorithm is good. My favorite feature of Mpop's cap module is the parallel mix slider. Now, I also use NeuroDSP's MSIMS, and I always hate that the overall volume changes as soon as you make one of the microphones louder or quieter. But with the mix slider in Ampop, you can adjust the mix percentages of the two microphones without changing the overall volume. It makes tweaking tones and it makes a whole lot easier, I'll tell you that. My favorite uh, cap to use with the Crater Dime Plus is the 2x10B Teaser K with the Mic 421N. I like how full and gritty it sounds. I'm not going to go over all the features and gear in Ampop in this video because I'm going to leave that to a future uh, review video on Ampop as a whole. But I do want to highlight an effects pedal that I absolutely love, and that is the Space Verb. This reverb pedal adds some shimmery synth-like soundscapes to notes being played. This is absolutely fantastic to use for distorted or clean leads in empty sections of a song or just to add some background textures that fills in the uh, mix a little bit. Let me show you how I used it in the demo you just heard and a song I recently mixed and mastered for a band in Asia. That's it for this video. Give it a like if you find it helpful slash entertaining slash whatever floats your boat. Subscribe if you want to see more audio engineering content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I also want to say a huge <coughs> I also wanted to s I also want to which is all I <coughs> which is what I <coughs> which is what I always and that is and that is the space verb. This, uh,